So we're done with um, the second part of the video, which was the skills required to be a good speaker. And I'd like now to uh, go on and talk about the third part regarding uh, having a good group discussion, sorry, is to be prepared. And to be prepared, obviously, you need to watch the videos. <laughs> and something that will be crucial, as I said uh, just before, is reflect on the content of videos. Take time to think about what you listened to and took notes about. So you have um, the worksheet, right, has uh, the part, the second page uh, or the fourth page, depending on which one you're looking at. This is the second page because it's for a good listener. Um, you have these questions right there. Questions to think about when you reflect, right? So I thought that it would be easier to explain these questions to you if I actually um, give you an example. So let me use the example. So here is my example. And you probably are smiling too because we've used this in class and I just want to build on what we've studied together. So let's say you have watched a video about the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Um, the first step I would recommend is to, to consider what you already knew about it, right? And here have your own little arrows and see what it is that you already knew. Because you need to connect what you've learned with what was there in the past, right? Your preconceptions, remember? when we watched the video uh, Fish is Fish by Leo Leone, um, you need to update what you knew before. So taking that bit of time should really help you gain knowledge. Then um, the question about importance, right? Um, the facts you've learned, in this case, the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, how important is it for yourself on a daily basis, but also for other people, maybe people who are older, younger, poorer, richer, from other religions, uh, with other sexual identity, right? So thinking about the importance of what you learn, not just for you, but also for others, might be a great way to help you reflect uh, on a topic. Um, then let's move on to um, the third aspect, the third question you could ask yourself when you're reflecting, and it's principles. Usually ideas are based on some sort of principles. And in this example, <laughs> definitely you have principles behind the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, right? So from what you've learned in the videos, for instance, um, what you already knew also. Here, here, add what the principles are. Um, in the case of the human, Universal Declaration of Human Rights, also I think specifically for that topic, having this question, why was it written? Why did we need a universal so for the whole world Declaration of Human Rights? Um, also the historical context, right? When was it written and who wrote it? Yeah. So as I, I just used that word, but that's a key word, most definitely, context, right? Um, the context will influence the principles. So always think context um, and try to understand why, when, who, how, these, you know, WH questions um, to try to um, understand the context. Um, then other use um, of the topic ideas that you have learned. In the case of the human rights, um, of human rights, sorry, um, the other use, 
I would say actually before finding other use and really considering it's universal, let's say it might be a bit tricky to find, but in the case of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, I strongly believe that first we need to um, to follow the Universal uh, Declaration of Human Rights, right? Which was basically signed by all countries in the world. And I'm saying this thinking about the Syrian refugee situation, and actually one of you in class pointed out that aspect that, oh, gee, there is a refugee status that guarantees that other countries would take care of you. So, let's see, that would be a great way to start um, thinking more deeply or thinking further about the topic of uh, the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. And last but not least, what can I learn or think about uh, from this? So on the worksheet you will see that uh, there is a little section here that um, you can use to be writing your reflection, your thoughts regarding uh, all these questions. Again, as I did for the Declaration of Human Rights, you might do some sort of a mind map or a concept map so that it helps you organize what you think. Um, this, as I said before, should help you with the in-class discussion, right? So the last part of the worksheet is uh, dedicated to the notes you'll be taking uh, during the class discussion. So hang in there. This is just um, to get ready for uh, the following class. All right, we're done with the topic of good group discussions. I want you to keep in mind that it is a major aspect of our in-class activities um, and I hope that you understand what's going to happen, what is expected of you and um, remember also that if not you can ask me questions, you will discuss all of this with your partners as well and uh, also practice, and you know this is a word I love, <laughs> with practice you'll become experts, right? So. Relax, enjoy uh, the next in-class session and uh, try to put to good use what you've learned here. Thank you.